corner of 20th and Blake, live at Coors Field in Denver. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the mid-century groundbreakers and the expansion era boomers. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next. Nolan Ryan a right hander from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him Dan. Well everyone knows he's one of the game's elite pitchers so if you like good pitching you're in for a real treat. Not many other guys compare and the thing I enjoy the most about him is the confidence that he exudes when he's out there. Trust me he doesn't lack it and the opposing hitters they feel it when they're standing in the box against him. And now in the box Jackie Robinson. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And it's one and two. One ball. Two three. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Ready on one and two. Two ball. Two strikes. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Struck him out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. To the plate now, Mickey Mantle. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate now Ernie Banks. And he fouls this one off. Just underway here in Denver. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Cy Young is on the mound for the groundbreakers in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matty, if you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher, you're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the game. He's one of those guys you feel really confident that could go into that seventh, eighth, and even the ninth inning. A workhorse. Now into the box, Ricky Henderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burnt. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Now it'll be Tony Gwynn. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit on the ground to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left. A base hit. That is good. No seven field. Yeah. Ricky. So now Junior. here is Ken Griffey Jr. looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Henderson on second. Gwynn on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And it's one and two. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Swing. 
Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but Batting instead four. he gets the fastball the way late. Had no Mike. chance to put that ball in play. Mitch. Stepping in now, Mike Schmidt. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Fouled off. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Tough curveball that time, but he was able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss looked like the screwball there. Two gone. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he not can feed good. off that K, no, wiggle out the jam, there. and keep this really? game tied. Start job. Now at the plate, Willie Stargell. Misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. So next to hit is Mike Piazza. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Ballman, two strikes. And that's something to worry about, too. When you combine a high pitch count with a hot night like this, like we have here, you're going to lose a lot of gas real quick. One and two. Here it is. High and deep down the left field line. And foul. From the stretch, the one two. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Back with a fastball, one and two now. One and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that the entire at bat. And what happens? Two. Gets the string Move. pulled on him right there. Yeah. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Now, Lou Gehrig. Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. A 
Another full count pitch home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Griffey waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting fifth. The left fielder, number four, Ralph Kiner. Digging in will be Ralph Kiner. No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. Now a fastball as he just reared up to let that one fly and the inning is over. Stepping up is Cal Ripken. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The one one. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate, Joe Morgan. Dribbled down the third baseline. Another full count pitch home. Gets him looking strike three. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. No pitcher. No leg. Ryan. So now to the plate, Nolan Ryan. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. Go on to Garrett. Takes care of him, and that will end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. So now into the box is Johnny Bench, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Sign now from Piazza, the 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Here now the 2 2. will miss down low in the third, so he's working full now at three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a two-two pitch, right? But three. that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Johnny Bench goes down for the first down here in inning number three. The one-one. Bouncer to the left side. And there's out number two. That is not the pitcher. Side. Young. 
Now to the plate, the pitcher, Cy Young. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he yep, lays off for a ball, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Third inning, no score to this point. Hey. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Two and two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ricky Henderson as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The one one. Two balls, one strike. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The right fielder, number 19, Tony Gwynn. Next to hit, Tony Gwynn singled in his last at-bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. That's High and wide, two balls and a strike. Fastball oh, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, this next pitch is a big one. The last thing you want to do is give a free pass to a guy that can run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. In the center field, line drive base hit. D roll, this is the kind of guy he doesn't really scare you as a pitcher because he's not a home run hitter, but somehow, some way, he always seems to get the barrel to the base. He's going to make you earn it, Dan, no doubt about it. He stays within himself. He doesn't try and do too much. One of those quality, quality guys that walks through the clubhouse door every day, you know exactly what you're getting. Going, Standing going, in now, going. Ken Griffey Jr. Grounded back up the middle. Gloved by Banks. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, third baseman, Mike Smith. Digging in next, Mike Schmidt, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jackie Robinson. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Two ball, two now strike. a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Win is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first down. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey Mantle. One out, base is empty, and that'll bring in Mickey Mantle. A sign now from Piazza, the 1-1. One, one. I got two on the count.
easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The three and one pitch. They swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. A payoff pitch one more time. Checked his go. swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. They haven't been able to no, register man. a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Next to stand in is Ernie Banks, grounded out in his last at-bat. Mantle leads off first with one away. Throw over to the bag. Pitch on two and one. Strike taken. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Is that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fool him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Two and two. Here it is. out of the ball game and that one ends the inning back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger more ahead from Denver right after this and now Willie Stargell is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning Swung on and missed for strike ball, number two. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle catcher. innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in, and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Into the box now, Mike Piazza. And he'll come back with one and a third as the count moves to two and one now. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Swing and oh my, hit him with the hind. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. So a solo shot off the bat of Mike Piazza. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. I know all home runs count the same, but that one went a little bit farther than most. That's what he does. A power hitter with a challenge fastball is going to go a long way when he's on his game. At the 
plate now. Cal Ripken. To first. Reined in. And that's the second out. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Joe Morgan. Next up, Joe Morgan. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, And that one ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're through four. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Riding in is Lou Gehrig. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. And drive it out of the yard this AB. Smoke toward third. And the fifth he's inning out. will start with a ground out, one away. Now back. Left here. Ralph Kiner. So here is Ralph Kiner struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Very high, two and one. Hey, if you're gonna throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. One out, nobody on. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Johnny Bench will be next. Fouls this one off. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it. But when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather he's standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one run lead. And now here is Johnny Bench. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Kiner, base runner at first with one out. Ball and now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. The 2 1. Strike two swinging. <laughs> Here now the 2 2. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. The off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Into the box, Eddie Matthews. And he takes a cold strike, too. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. 
Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Henderson will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. He's through five without allowing a hit. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Boomers are on top, one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. Here's the 1 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here comes the one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now back. Now to back. Ricky Henderson. He flew out in his last AB. Faces are empty. One man out. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw over to Gehrig, and that's half number two. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Stepping in now, Tony Gwynn. Fly ball right down the line and left. Kiner is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Nothing doing here this half. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's a lead for the expansion era, one to nothing. Now with the plate is Cy Young, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now the 2 1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Therefore, it is Griffey, and that's out number one. Now that second base, Jackie Robinson. Now at the plate, here is Jackie Robinson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the first. Robinson is retired, two down now. That brings up Mickey Mantle. 2-2 is looked at and the count moves forward. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the no, inning. A and a fastball misses their ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Late now is Ernie Banks. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Mantle leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Nope, and the pitch the misses low and away for ball two. Two balls, one strike, they count. Now the 2 1. Ball back outside. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor, 3 and 1. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. 
And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Junior. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. So now to the plate, Mike Schmidt. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two and two. That's an awesome 12 six hook right there. Look at the depth spin rate nasty downward tilt on that pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. The 3 2 pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Another payoff pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third the tonight, base, and it seems we're eight. seeing that a lot more really? these days. Yeah, Matt, there's Start been a draw. real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Uh, ball, ball and two strikes now. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Take a look at his numbers. Now a couple of things Definitely. jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Into the box, Mike Piazza. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Ready with the one and one. Turned on down the line. Uh, this will get fouled. It's evolving two strikes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. 
Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And D Row, right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you are a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's Just game. There's five or six of you guys Just hanging out down there. Down. So he's going to empty the bucket Look right here. here until the manager Junior. gets him. So stepping in is Cal Ripken. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. The set and the 1 1. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. And the oh. inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. No runs, a hit, two left. We're through six full. The Boomers lead it 1 to nothing. That'll bring up Hank Aaron. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hard ground ball to third. On the first, and a big out to start the seventh, the one gone. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Oh, uh, he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Next, it'll be Ralph Kiner. It was a walk in his last trip. One two sent on the ground out to second scooped up one there on the first it's a double play as their woes continue the inning is over like the clockwork a four to six to three double play to end the threat we're back at Coors Field in just a moment. Stepping in once again is Joe Morgan. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 3 and 1 pitch. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next 3 2. And that ball misses four. ball Take four. Three. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's no one thing to walk the leadoff no hitter, way. but it's even more painful oh when the yeah. leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. So here now is the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's a look over to first. Oh, Runners back. Morgan gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ready on one and two. 
And he pulls nope. this one back okay. in time, two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The left fielder, number 24, Ricky Henderson. Next, here is Ricky Henderson. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. steps off a second there now the pitch in the dirt here runner holds as the count moves to two and one from the stretch three and one hey after those two breaking balls missed you have to be sitting on a fastball right here to the second baseman and it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag they the settled right with just the one out right Tony Gwynn. next to dig in Tony Gwynn he's two for three thus far two out here and a runner at second Side, but it's well fouled. He set the 2 2. He pulls this one into right, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. to hit as the catcher Johnny Bench and this one runs a little too far in ball two hits this one hard the other way a dive and he knocks it down and he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Lead-off guy, any time he gets on, usually creates a problem. Well, you know, you know, it's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Any time you get that lead-off guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. Standing in now, Eddie Matthews. Big swing, and this ball is crushed out to deep center field. Gone! And that two-run home run delivers an eighth-inning lead. Two-run shot to straightaway center as they take the lead. It's two to one. That was a tape measure shot like few you'll ever see, and show track confirms it. That ball traveled more than 500 feet on the fly. A very memorable home run. Skipper out of the dugout, making the slow trek to the mound. And a change is forthcoming, as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. 
gave him seven pretty good innings here but he'll head to the dugout in line for a loss. Tom Hinkie is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Joe Torrey will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Misses for the second ball. Has some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. In tight there as he's got a turn out of the way of that one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now that's second baseman. Now to the plate, Jackie Robinson. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The three and one pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. Up next, Mickey Mantle as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. A 1 1. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left the yard, and the power hitters are coming up. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. So the next to bat will be Bernie Banks. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1. Torrey at second. Robinson. Is over at first with one away. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Here's the cleanup hitter, Hank Aaron. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Two men are on with two men out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion.
Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And another foul ball. The 2-2 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Two down runners at first and second. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. And he misses nope. with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. These guys on defense are still within striking distance. But after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. So next to bat will be Blue Gehrig. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out, bases loaded. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. The groundbreakers lead it two to one. Whitey Ford is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready now is Ken Griffey Jr. Now the three and two pitch. And he lays it's off ball four. four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging now on to a slim lead. And the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. See, those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And in steps all-time Philly great Mike Schmidt. The 1-1 pitch. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Okay. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And the payoff pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective really? number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. to the plate now. Willie Stargell and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at now first time. base. Get now him. with two Start. outs it becomes a lot more difficult Three, to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. At the plate now Mike Piazza Ball, Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. The three and one pitch. 
Waves and misses for strike number two. Strike three, and the potential tying run left on base as the inning is over. Suter enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ralph Kiner. Uh, 2 2. on the ground to first. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, nothing earth-shattering about this one. He just didn't finish the play and watch it into his glove. And now they've got the leadoff runner aboard and no outs. Plate, Johnny Bench fouled off. One and two, here it comes. I uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Eddie Matthews will stand in again as we take it back now to the eighth inning, and this was a big one. The two-run shot that helped get us to where we are now. Second, did he get his double play? There's one. Back to Stargell for the double play, and the inning comes to a close. So no runs or hits here, as the error turns out to be unimportant. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The groundbreakers out in front here, two to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Raleigh Fingers takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Cal Ripken. Fingers looks in. Here's the one and two. Shortstop rounds out to the other one away. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Into the box, Joe Morgan. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. George Brett will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Brett. 
hit sharply toward the right side. Aaron will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Now batting, left fielder, Ricky. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ricky Henderson. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Quick check on that He's tying good. run at first, but the runner's back easily. Morgan is off of first with two away. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Fork ball. That's in the dirt for a ball. Ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Mantle is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Man, we were treated to a nice pitcher's duel in this one. Both starters throwing strikes, they worked deep, and both were in command of the game. It really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun game to watch. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. The mid century era came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Cy Young pitches well enough to get the W. Nolan Ryan struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Groundbreakers, two runs on just two hits, one error, they left eight runners on base. For the home team, 